Hello, today I'm coming to you from Skysong, which is in southern Scottsdale and represents the Arizona State University Technology and Innovation Center. It was built back in 2009 and immediately started flooding with uh, new companies um, and today there's over 75 companies. Think about that, in two years over 75 companies have filled up these two buildings. They range anywhere from students getting grants to make uh, 3D glasses for the movie industry to three moms who joined up with ASU and started a media agency um, to bigger companies like Canon and Quest. All these companies have an affiliation with ASU and they work alongside ASU utilizing the engineering department, the various technology professors and whatnot to help bring products and services to market. There's actually some venture capital companies here that maybe work with university professors to help bring some of their technology and innovation ideas to market. So a lot of things happening. So far it's bringing over a hundred million dollars a year into the Scottsdale economy. The topic for today is marijuana and violence. A lot of people think that marijuana promotes increased aggressiveness and violent behavior and therefore crime. Is there any validity to that? The answer is no, it is a complete myth. The myth was begun back in the 1920s and the 1930s portraying marijuana users as this uh, uh, murderous bandito stereotype because at that time there was a lot of discussion in Congress over whether marijuana was going to go through prohibition and uh, illegality and taxing and things like that. There was a congressman named Anslinger, um, Perry Anslinger, who was behind a lot of this um, journalism or uh, uh, par propaganda and it worked. The, American public was convinced that marijuana led to an increase in violence. Prohibition went through in 1937 and subsequent to that, you know, has become federally illegal and it's a Schedule I narcotic. Well, in 1972, the Schaefer Commission was uh, funded by Congress at the tune of a million bucks and congressmen and scientists and, and public members, lay people got together and basically looked at all the research that was out there. And they control for various factors, and they found that in all of this, and in the report they state this, that marijuana does not lead to increased violence. It doesn't cause people to go out and, you know, increase crime, kill people, murder rates don't go up, you know, they're not robbing banks because they just smoke the joint. It just doesn't happen. Numerous studies since then have shown that. Now, to be fair, if you go to any federal or state prison here in the state of Arizona, the inmates will have a higher percentage of either in the past or currently being marijuana smokers. The incidence of them smoking marijuana is going to be higher. However, when you control that to actually see if that leads to an increase in violence, the answer is no. It's neutralized. It is not a causative agent in promoting violence. That's been just shown over and over and over again. So the real stereotype for people who are smoking uh, marijuana or intaking it somehow is more of a calming sedative effect, which actually in patients now that Arizona medical marijuana is legal for debilitated qualified patients, that is a huge benefit to someone who has an issue with like nausea and vomiting from cancer chemotherapy. You know, they can just go into the parking lot of the chemo center and start to get nauseous. One of the reasons that medical marijuana helps in those situations is because of the calming and sedative uh, anti-anxiety type effect that it can have. So at any rate, there you have it. That myth is now debunked. Marijuana does not lead to an increase in violence and crime and aggression. It actually goes the opposite effect. Um, look, check us out today on the internet at ArizonaMMC.com. We have licensed, qualified, compassionate doctors who can help with your marijuana evaluation to see if you're qualified for a medical marijuana ID card in Arizona. Thank you very much. Have a great evening.